www.rockstarworld.com and welcome to another Maya tutorial. Today we're gonna create a rocks from a displacement map into Arnold and then we're gonna convert it from a displacement into a polygon. This way of working is pretty good, it helps you like uh, model scenes very quickly from images and then also like uh, it can get you a lot of details that's gonna take a long time to model it manually. So without further delay let's get started. So let's create a polygon plane. Let's press R and then scale it. Let's assign a new material. Assign new material, Arnold, and then uh, Arnold standard surface. Uh, next thing we need to do, let's assign an image to the color. And compile. Okay, assign the image, let's click six. And now we can see the texture uh, on the image. Next thing, let's go to the hyper shade. Let's click on the new material we created and let's click on the input output connections. The next thing, let's reduce the specular from 0.2 and uh, let's play with the roughness a little bit. Around 0.4 will be good. So, the next thing we need is let's create the displacement map. So, if we click on the displacement and then click here. Uh, let's select the file right so now we have uh, the material the texture for the displacement is connected and everything here is good so the next thing we need to do is let's minimize the hyper shade then select the polyplane and let's go to Arnold here in the shape node and let's scroll down to the subdivisions and let's change the type to a cut bark let's increase the iteration to 4 this is the quality of the displacement and then the displacement attributes let's change the height from 1 to 0 0.54 and then let's add the bounce padding to 1 so the height is basically the strength of the displacement how high it's gonna be okay so now this is the basic settings are good let's create a light Let's get the directional light, press 7, let's scale it so we can see it better, and let's raise it up, and just the rotation, let's make sure shadows are there, this is just visually so it looks nice, okay next thing is uh, let's make sure we have Arnold selected, and then let's do a quick render. Okay, so the displacement is still very strong, so let's change that. Let's go to the height and 0.034. Let's enter and then let's render again. Okay, so now it looks a lot better, it looks more realistic. So let's do some changes in the hyper shade and let's adjust that. Um, the UV values to make it uh, you know repeat more now it's like too big so let's change it to 2 and 2 I selected both but it's actually gonna change in one of them so let's make sure we select another one and we change the value in it as well so now we have for this placement it's repeating twice and for the texture the fuse is repeating twice okay so let's minimize the hyper shade and let's do a quick render Okay, so now it's done rendering, so you can see it looks much better. But y you can see there also the shadows that they doing some not natural behavior here, like they're not fully contacting the ground, this side. So we can fix that by adjusting the iterations of the model. So let's change that. Let's save this image. And let's select that uh, plane and then let's change it to 5. And let's render. Okay, so finish rendering, so you can see before and after how the detail improved a lot after we increased the iterations and the shadows start to feel more like natural and instead of they stopping halfway, they completely reaching uh, the ground and everything start to feel more uh, realistic. So the next thing, once we're happy with this uh, model like this, next thing we need to do is let's convert this into polygon so we can import it into our scene and then really know exactly how to use it especially if you have like characters or a car or 
or any like uh, interactions you need to have in the 3D. Okay, so let's select the plane. Let's go to Arnold and Utilities and Bake Selected Geometry. And give Maya like a minute and then here showing us it's done. So the next thing to do is uh, let's import it. Okay, so now we have the model imported. And the next thing we need is we can apply a texture for this model so we can see it uh, more nicer. So let's go to the hypershade again. And then uh, let's clear the graph here. And then let's select that uh, material we created first time. Let's click edit, duplicate shading network. So this way we're basically duplicating the material. And everything is the setting should be the same. And then let's select the, uh, the new rocks. And then let's apply the new material to them. Okay, so now we have it uh, fully uh, textured and it have the displacement already built into it. So you can select this plane and then you either could delete it or you could add it to a new layer. And uh, you can adjust if you want to keep it and adjust the uh, settings on it so you can re-export and import a new terrain. That would be a good idea. So you can just hide it in here. So yeah, you can see here now you have a really nice detail. It's, it's gonna be pretty tough to model this to look like a natural like this. So sometimes it's a really good idea to use uh, an image and have a nice displacement out of the image to be able to create this kind of cool scene and pretty quickly. So hopefully this tutorial will help you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos. Until next time, take care.